At one time or another, it's almost every child's dream to ride. But it's not everyone who can afford it. That's why the horse ranges are so special. For the last 25 years, the organization has provided horses and riding instruction for hundreds of children. The horse rangers are the first riding organization to provide facilities for the handicapped. And there are now 10 ranger branches, mainly in the southeast. But one is to be opened in the western arts of Scotland. We'll have um, Zebedee in the lead. The others follow on run. Sit down into your saddle. And it helps when Britain's most famous family are horse lovers. Most of the members of the royal family have visited the rangers at one time or another. And after an inspection by Princess Margaret in 1964, the organization was allowed to move into the Royal Mews at Hampton Court and make it their headquarters. Right, once again, pull right, forward bend, on to their neck. Come on, Sutty, on to his neck. And up. Sutty on to the And rising trot. Good. It's all about horsemanship, but there's a certain cavalry style. Indeed, about ten. Every weekend, 350 children pay a pound to attend the Royal Mews. Most of them are girls. If there's such a thing as jodper power, then the rangers have it. Your my nails a bit dirty in your glass bar as well. Okay, to get those clean. I went to a show just before we uh, did this uh, at the up in London, and um, I saw Annie get your gum, and I said to my secretary at that time, "That's the uniform for the horse rangers. It's cheap, it's handy, and, it, and it's attractive." So we did it. Right? Did you like cowboys, or did you like the old west? No, I, I thought it appealed to children. <laughs> The rangers are allowed their uniform by dispensation from the Ministry of Defence. It's not every ten-year-old who can be a lance corporal or council surveyor who can be colonel and senior commandant. Mr. Prime, how do you get to be a colonel? Well, it's a, a matter of progression. One normally starts off as something... So it's uh, the normal army ranks that we are uh, known as. And uh, progression by uh, Captain Major and... Colonel, something like that, always how, officer commanding the how, how did you come to join the horse rangers? My daughter joined first, and then uh, as I took part in helping and more helping, then they finally gave got you me to join. They gave you a commission. <laughs> and then they? I got a commission, yes, yes, yes. Now, you've got a lot of pips on your shoulder. What rank are you? A captain. What does that mean? Uh, I started from the beginning, and I worked my way up. <laughs> No one who owns their own horse is allowed into the ranges, and horses are at a premium. There's only two branches with their own. The others have to make arrangements with local riding schools. But when you've 24 horses to keep, like they have at the Mews, there's always plenty of work to do to raise money. It might be something to do with discipline and the building of moral fiber, or it might be that they don't have to do the shopping for mum. But the children are all ready to muck in, all because of a passion for horses. On Sunday, the Ministry of Defence and the Guards Regiments allowed 800 horse rangers to march from Horse Guards Parade down Whitehall to celebrate their 25th anniversary a day when London belonged to a slightly different set of troopers. <laughs> 